Yo, YouTube is in the Arches of Darkness, also known as Sir Killing Ten of Color Struck, and I'm here to talk with you guys about the New York killing. Now, if you haven't been living under a rock, you know that uh, some white guy from Baltimore City drove all the way, not drove, or took a bus all the way to New York just to kill a black man, right? I want you guys to understand, this is white terrorism, right? This is racist white terrorism, right? Well, let me explain something to you guys. It's, it's no different from... Dylan Roof, right? He walked into a church and killed nine peace-loving people, right? Dylan Roof didn't walk in the hood and kill kill a nigga. Didn't kill the youngins, right? Look, what you guys need to understand about killings like these, uh, these people are picking and choosing, right? It's outright murder, right? As these people aren't crazy. They know what they're doing. It's clear as day. He killed a old black man who couldn't defend himself. It's the same thing with Dylan Roof and the, the people in the church. He killed nine nine people in a church who could not defend themselves. Right? Dylan Roof in his manifest manifesto said he wants to start a race war. Right? But you don't start a race war by killing well, you can, but because black people in general have been so castrated by this country, have been so economically economically oppressed, um just anything we can't even, we can't there are a whole lot of us who can't even own weapons right dylan roof could have gone to the hood and killed a whole lot of hood niggas but what would have happened after that is hood niggas would have been looking for fucking white supremacists if you don't think if you don't think so it would have happened they would have crossed lines like most like most hood niggas kill other hood niggas but if dylan roof really wanted to start a war he would have done that he would have done that, but he didn't do it. It's the same way with this guy who went from Baltimore, you know, where they had that riot. Baltimore City drove his ass all the way fuck up um, to, uh, or rode a bus all the way up to New York just to kill a black man. He did it for a reason. One, media attention. Two, the, the, the victim he picked could not defend himself. People like this, this man, whose last name is James Johnson and Dylan Roof are the same fucking white supremacist individuals they're doing it they're doing it to send a message because some reason white people in this country feel like all their power is being taken away they know that they have power and it's not just white supremacists because random white people who, who don't necessarily believe who don't consciously believe in racism who have a subconscious racism still feel like okay they're being oppressed when that's not the case the case is more people are more people are getting their voices heard versus being drowned out by just white voices. And because more people are getting their voices heard, less white people are getting less time, more, less, less of their voices heard, right? They're not being completely dragged out. They're not being completely expunged from the record. It's just that more black and brown, Asian, Muslim, non uh non-heterosexual people are starting to get their voices heard and a lot of these people are starting to feel threatened by it so they act out and lash out in these very different very different ways whether they're bombing fucking uh synagogues or they're bombing uh parent parenthood whether they're killing minorities whether they it they're all the i'm not gonna say they're they're not all doing it for, some of them are doing it for the same reasons most of them are doing it because they feel oppressed they want to feel, I don't understand who, I don't want to be oppressed. That's why I do these videos. I want my children to be able to, to not, I want my children to, ne to never have to think about racism. But unfortunately, they're going to have to, they have to, they're going to have to know about racism and they're going to have to teach their kids about racism until it gets to the point where racism doesn't exist anymore, which it will never, it's because racism is cyclical, is cyclical and it's systematic. It will never fucking disappear. Right? So. We need to understand that these guys are doing this thing on purpose. It's because they feel like their power is being stripped. They know that their power is being stripped. Look, race, racism doesn't just involve hating somebody because of their color, okay? Because if he hated somebody just for their color, Dylan Roof would have just killed the nearest black person. But he didn't. He planned it out, went to a church, okay? If he, if he hated thugs and all these thugs raping black women, he would have went to where, I mean, white women. If he would have went to the hood where all these black thugs he perceived were raping white women, right? He would have found a black man dating white women and killed him. 
No, he's doing it for he's doing it to preserve the power of the right white race and it's being bought it's being brought to our attention now. It's the same thing with this guy from New York. Baltimore City had a riot. Could have easily went down and killed like five teenagers with that sword. He could have easily done that. But no, he went to New York media uh, to a media to, to where all, all the media is and killed the black man who couldn't defend himself. Now, I want to ask this question. Not too long ago, um, these four teenagers kidnapped a white kid. Two teenagers who knew this white kid kidnapped a white kid and tortured them for 30, or was it for two days or 30 minutes? But it, there's a 30 minute video of them torturing this kid in, uh, in Chicago. And it was all types of fucking, oh my God, this is disgusting. This is, oh my God, right? There's a lot, a lot of attention being brought up to that. I want to know where's the disgust. A lot of white people was disgusted. Oh my God, this is a hate crime. And these motherfuckers should be hung. And they should be on death row for doing this. And I want to know where's the disgust from white, white people right now. Where's that same disgust? Even from the racist white people who you knew were just saying that they needed to be hanged because they were black. Not that they needed to be in jail for, for they should have a uh, punishment that matched the crime. And I don't know. That's probably yeah, ten years. I think that should, that's fair, right? I think ten years is fair. Okay, um, five to ten. I don't know. Eight to ten is fair. That's to me is fair. Not killing them and putting them in prison forever, because clearly they were young and they're dumb, right? Where's that? Where's that outrage? Because I'm I'm serious. I'm so serious. Outrage that these. White people pick when they want to be outraged. Where's your outrage? Whenever white supremacists go out of their out of their way to kill a black person or kill a Latino or do anything, all of that outrage completely fucking disappears. It's nowhere to be found. You're gonna hear it from black people, right? But you're also gonna hear it, hear it from black people and Black Lives Matter when a cop kills a, a 18 year old white boy for no fucking reason because it's not about uh, it's yeah, it's about police brutality on black people, but it's also about police brutality because across the board, police brutality is terrible. Not even adding race into it. It just so happens that they pick out black people a whole fucking lot disproportionately. Okay, if your town is uh one percent, three percent, four percent black, there's no reason why in your in your town cell everybody in there should be black. It doesn't make any sense. That means you're only patrolling in the black areas. You're really only policing black people. Anyway, I want to know what that outrage is. All right, see, I, that ADD, it always gets me. I start talking about one thing and it goes somewhere else. Where's that outrage? Where is it? James Johnson went down, killed a black man. His, I don't know the guy's name. I think his, um, I know his Twitter handle was TimRock75. The fuck, bro? Look, these white people are doing this for a reason. Those white supremacists are doing this for a reason. They're killing you and they're doing it for a reason to send a fucking message. Now, the justice system could put you, put them away all they want, but as long as you don't get rid of that behavior, as long as you don't be, get rid of or try to get rid of that belief system, which you're not because you elected Donald Trump, who has white supremacists in his cabinet, okay, alt-right, yeah, those are white supremacists. Those ain't nothing but white supremacists. Who has alt right? Who has alt right people? White supremacists in his cabinet. If the government does not do anything about that behavior, then all you're gonna, you're just gonna keep seeing it over and over and over again. And they don't do anything about police killings. You're gonna keep seeing it over and over and over again. Remember, they run police run in the same circles with some of these guys. Some of the police run in the same circles with some of these guys. And while they have freedom of speech, it's just fucking crazy that this keeps happening. And they they and they're really doing it to preserve their power, and nothing's being done, nothing. Oh, let's, let's put them in prison. Yeah, because putting them in prison is going to do something. Yeah, not talking about it, not having a a discussion, not not forcing people to have this conversation. Okay, instead we're just gonna, oh well, this is it's an isolated incident. Let's remember this is terrorism. 
They'll never call it terrorism. It's terrorism. They're doing it to scare black people. They're doing it to keep their position of power. Shut the fuck up, black people. We're tired of black people. They're doing it for a reason. All right, guys. That's enough. I got to get out of here. Have a good day.